see you with everyday tidbits. Thank you so much for joining me on another what's for dinner. Today I'm gonna to be making dill pickle soup in my crock pot, a crescent taco ring, a ravioli casserole in the crock pot, and beef and gravy in the crock pot. Thanks again for joining me. I really appreciate your support. Make sure that you like the video, click that subscribe button, and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. For this recipe, you're gonna need a pound of ground turkey or ground beef, some taco seasoning, a whole diced onion, one egg, and two containers of crescent rolls. First, I'm gonna dice my onions to add to my ground turkey. I'm gonna cook my ground turkey in my hot pan for a little bit and then I'm gonna add my onions to it. Once your meat is cooked, let it cool down for a little bit before assembling your taco ring. This part takes a little bit of practice. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easier the next time you do it. I like to pre-spray my pan with a little bit of coconut oil and then I open my containers of crescent rolls and lay them out on the counter so that I can pull them each apart piece by piece. The trick is to make sure that you line them up all facing the same direction. Now spread your ground turkey or beef evenly throughout the ring and make sure that you leave the center clear. I also forgot to tell you in the beginning of the video that you'll need some cheese as well. I did not have any shredded cheese on hand, but I did have a block of cheese, so I went ahead and sliced it thin and I overlapped it on the inside of this ring on top of the meat and it worked just as fine. If you don't want to put cheese in there, you can leave the cheese out as well. The next step is to pull your crescent rings from the small end out over the center and then tuck it in underneath. And don't worry if your spacing is not perfect because when the pastry cooks, it's gonna puff up and it's gonna fill in all the gaps. So don't worry, have fun with it. Now this step is optional. The original Pillsbury ring uh, recipe does not call for this step, but I like to add an egg wash on top so that way it comes out with a nice shiny gloss and it browns up pretty and it just makes the whole taco ring out of the oven look beautiful. So just beat up that egg and use a, um, a brush and just brush that egg over the top of it evenly. Bake your taco ring in your oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 22 to 25 minutes. For this recipe, you're gonna need one cup of melted butter, one cup of flour, six cups of chicken broth, one cup of diced dill pickles, 
and reserve a half a cup of the dill pickle juice. You're also gonna need a pound and a half of potatoes diced, one cup of diced carrots. You're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of Old Bay, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper, and one cup of sour cream. The first step is to dice up your potatoes, your carrots, and your pickles. Melt your butter in a dish in the microwave and whisk it up a little bit. Then you're gonna to wanna to add your flour a little at a time. We're making a roux here, so it's gonna be the consistency of almost like glue or wallpaper paste, but you're gonna add your flour little by little. And then when it gets to be too thick, add your half a cup of chicken broth in there and mix it thoroughly through. And now it's time to assemble our soup in the crock pot. You're gonna to wanna to add your remaining chicken broth to the pot and then stir in your roux. Once your roux and chicken broth is mixed well, you can go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. We're going to cook this soup on high for about four hours and then I'll show you the final step when it's done. After our four hours is up, we're going to open the lid and we're going to stir in one cup of sour cream and let that heat through.
I served this soup with a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese on top and some cut up pita wedges and it was fantastic. Guys, you have to try this one. It's so good. For this recipe, you're going to need some sauce, some frozen ravioli, and some shredded cheese. And that's it! Because I'm using lots of cheese in this recipe, I am going to use a crock pot liner and it will make clean up a cinch afterwards and there won't be any burnt on or stuck on cheese to the inside of my crock pot. This recipe could not be any easier to make and you can um, adjust the amounts depending on how many people you have to feed. This is a great potluck dinner. Um, it's great if you have a lot of people to feed. It's great um, to have as a buffet um, entree if you're feeding people and you're having a gathering. So this is so easy. We're going to work in layers here. Um, the first layer is going to be your sauce. And you're going to spread it evenly on the bottom and then you're going to add a layer of your frozen ravioli, a layer of cheese, and then you're just going to repeat until you get to the top. I wound up using three packages for mine, but like I said, if you have room in your crock pot, feel free to add more, but always make sure that your last layer on top is the cheese. After you cover your crock pot, you're going to set it on high and cook it for four hours. This was a huge hit. Our guests loved it. I went ahead and served it with a Caesar salad and some garlic bread. It was so good, guys, and so easy to make. For this recipe, you're going to need one and a half to three pounds of stew meat, beef. You're going to need two packages of um, beefy onion soup mix, two 14 ounce cans of sliced mushrooms, two cans of beef broth, and two cans of cream of mushroom soup. This is another super easy and simple crock pot recipe. It's basically a dump and go. You're going to add all your ingredients to the crock pot, stir it, put the lid on, and cook it. That's it. Eight hours on low and you're going to have a super filling, belly warming, delicious comfort food meal.
So I serve this meal over mashed potatoes with a side of broccoli, but it would also be equally delicious over some type of noodle, such as egg noodles. You will not be disappointed, guys. This was so good. this video if you make anything that I have shown you please comment below and let me know how you liked it if you know of a recipe or a food that you would like me to make for you please also comment below and I will try to find a recipe and make it for you also make sure you like the video hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post once I get to a thousand subscribers I will be doing a giveaway to thank my loyal subscribers and your support means so much to me so please share with your friends I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel so if there's any other content that you would like to see also let me know and I will make videos for you I'm trying to um, build my channel and actually post content that people would like to see so any ideas that you might have let me know below and I will try to get that out for you thanks again and have a great day